All right, so let's pick up where we left off, which is here hold on I gotta move this up so I can see it okay so we had just found the flight from Detroit to San Antonio for those dates um, remember 728.84 and then we had them sorted by price and we went with the cheapest one 471.60 now we're gonna pick a different airport so we can kind of go up here to the top corner right here and erase that and pick the next airport which I picked Roanoke so type in Roanoke there we go and then click find flights. If all else fails, you can go back to the beginning again as well. You could go back to the delta.com site and retype in Detroit and the dates and so on. So there we go, it's 477.58. So you go back to your sheet, spreadsheet, 477, whoopsie, 0.58. Oh my gosh, that weighs way too much, 477.58, there we go. Okay, and as a matter of fact, I should probably make a note to myself, this cost was in dollars. All right. So then you just do this over and over and over, and you find each city. So I go up here and I type Flint, and there it is. I can click on it, do it again, and you wait. And that one was easy, 309.58. Oopsie, 309.58. Okay, I'm going to fill out all of these. Remember to fill out your own, find your own cities, and, well, you can use, of course, some of the ones I use, and then we'll work from there. So I'll be back here with all my, my dollar signs filled out. Oops, one thing I wanted to show you. Um, you can make it with that little, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but this little icon here, I can change it so that my internet browser doesn't take up the full screen. It only takes up like half the screen and Excel takes up the other half. And that way, it makes it quicker for me to flip back and forth. It's just a little trick. So for example, I can go over here and type Bangor. There we go, Bangor find flights and then I don't have to bring keep bringing up Excel and making it go away and such just a little tip all right I'll see you back here with all the numbers filled in all right now all my dollar amounts are in so I think it's time to save this don't you all right so we don't want to let any of this go astray so I'm going to click file go to save as I'm going to save it someplace I really know where it is, like, you know, my Matho 33 folder, or um, if you do it on the desktop, that's fine, but you, um, if you're on a school computer, you want to make sure you email it to yourself or something. Um, I'm sure there's are, there are instructions in here somewhere for how it should be. Aha, your last name, Project 3. Okay, so for me, it would be Tucky um, Project 3, or something like that, okay? Don't put my name, obviously. Put your own name. Put your own last name. I know what my last name is. All right, so save it. And again, if you use a school computer, make sure you not only put it on a jump drive, but you email it to yourself. Emailing it to yourself is a really good move. All right, so this is where the date is. Let's see what else we had to do. Um, oops, we were supposed to label that tab the data tab. So I'm going to click down here where it says sheet one, and I'm going to click type data. Um, type in the names of the cities, the distance we found, create a column for total distance. Oops, we didn't do that. Um, create another column for total distance. Okay, so we found the distance, but we didn't figure out the total distance. Got it. So that's because these flights, oh, when they show you that it's 243, that's one way. So round trip, because of course we're flying back, and these costs are for round trip costs. So let me, let's make a note to ourselves here. Round trip cost is that much. So we need a column in here that gives us the total distance. This is actually the one-way distance, right, which is going to matter to you. Okay, so how do you insert column? Well, you click on column C, for example, and you right-click, and you click Insert. So you, did you catch that? I clicked up in C right here. I made a double down arrow. So see how it turns into a downward arrow? Right-click, Insert. And so then I can do round trip distance or what was it total distance is that what he said to do total distance okay so I'll do that total distance well how do you figure that out well it's equal to that cell times two and then drag that down the column right grab the handle we've done that before but turn it a little plus sign click and drag there it is there's all your total distances All right, we're done with this one. I'll meet you back here for more.